All right, guys, hope you're doing well. This is Lewis Rowlands here, and I'm a nutritional balancing practitioner. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about cheating on the program. Um, so, yeah, there will be some videos where I'll have my uh, beautiful face on. Um, but it is really easy for me to answer questions when they come in. And I can, uh, yeah, basically... Uh, do all these videos on my uh, on my phone, which is good, which means I can get up regular regular content, um, and uh, you know pack it out with juicy, yeah, juicy information. So cheating, cheating on the program. Okay, so when uh, when a lot of people begin the program, um, obviously they're beginning it because they're not feeling well, and usually people begin the program because they've not necessarily been doing great things in their life prior whether it be eating junk food taking drugs drinking alcohol smoking cigarettes um it's not for ev not not everyone does bad stuff necessarily but in general um you know they might be addicted to um medication they might even even be addicted to exercise you know and it can become an addiction where it's harmful to your health it's not actually supporting you it's uh, taken away from you so people start the program with a lot of habits um, that they have had usually uh, from yeah previous years and a lot of bad uh, bad habits and uh, thought processes that keep them trapped in uh, certain ways of thinking and um, all of these things basically a like baggage that gets brought to the table when someone begins the program. So a lot of people begin the program and they see people like me and they read Dr. Olson's articles and they get really excited about it and they think, oh wow, if I do this stuff then after three or four months I'll be okay and I can get back on with my life and it's not usually how it happens. Um, so when people begin, they've got you know, two things to sort of contend with. The first thing is to start something super, super fresh and usually completely different to how they've usually lived before. Um, and the issues that that brings with it is they end up getting, uh, you know, dragged into old situations, old habits um, in the early stages much easier because they've just been so used to doing it. It might be having a few drinks with friends, it might be having a pizza now and again, um, it might be having, you know, you might still be struggling with smoking um, or, you know, uh, there's a million different things people can have sort of adhesions to. So usually what happens is people learn very quickly you know, because they've got sort of, sort of a reference point. They do the program and they sort of feel better, cutting out sugar, doing this, and then they'll go out drinking. And then they'll be like, oh, my God, I feel really bad. Um, you know, the program was actually making me feel, you know, a bit better. So, you know, cheating in the beginning is quite common just because it's so brand new and people have got a lot of baggage to deal with, you know. So, you know, there's... There's uh, obviously real bad negatives to cheating. And, uh, you know, if you're going to be drinking alcohol, you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing that, it's definitely going to hold you back. Um, but in my opinion, there's benefits to cheating. I'm not telling people to go out and cheat, but there are definite benefits. You know, the benefits are whenever you cheat, you realise the reason why the program's so amazing, you know, and then it sort of gives you more weight to keep carrying on doing the program it gives you more passion about the program because you understand how powerful it is. Um, another sort of odd benefit to cheating um, is that it's a reference point. So, you know, when I first began the program, you know, I used to drink a lot. I was in the drinking culture and that was difficult for me to give up straight away. And I remember starting the program and I was feeling better in certain areas. And then I would go and have a drink and I would... Uh, I would be sort of feeling the effects for like a month, you know, and then maybe a couple of months later or three months later, you know, I'd cave in again and go and have a bit of a drink. And, you know, I noticed that it took me for three weeks and, and three days to recover, you know, and then I'd do it again now and again. 
and then it get less and less and less and less um you know to a point whereby maybe six seven years in um you know i would go and have a drink at someone's birthday party and you know when i the next day i would not feel great for maybe half a day you know so in that sense it's a re real amazing reference point um so try not to sort of beat yourself up too much when you do it because people you're gonna do it there's no question about it in my opinion um uh, some people i'm sure sure there's some rare people out there that will just not do it but i've not actually met anyone like that before i've met some really 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 good uh people who will do the program straight away but after a while um you know they'll sort of have some sort of blip in the road so just accept the fact that cheating will be something that you will probably come into contact with at some point in your healing journey try not to get too beat up about it because i think that's you know that can be detriment more det detrimental is sort of beating yourself up about it and sort of isolating yourself thinking that you know um other practitioners never cheat or you know dr wilson's never cheated throughout his whole time on the program or other people on the program have never cheated um you know at some point i can guarantee you that every single one of them have, have done have done uh, something they they know they, they knew they shouldn't have done but every time it happens you get more appreciation for the program over and over and over and over and over and over again um it's like it sort of it, it builds armor um for the program which is beneficial so that's all i've got to say on this video um any questions comments drop it in the uh comments section all right catch you soon and uh, bye for now